Before the treadmill test begins, your doctor will question you about your medical history and how often and at what grade of the intensity you can exercise. Your fitness level aids in determining the protocol suitable for you during the test. Your doctor will do ECG and echocardiogram for any abnormalities that might affect your treadmill test results. You will be given a gown with an opening to the front. The technician records your resting blood pressure, heart rate, and ECG. Before the treadmill test begins, a technician will put sticky patches on your chest, shoulders, and abdomen. They are called electrodes. The sites where the electrodes will be placed are cleaned with alcohol. You need to shave your body hair to help electrodes stick. Wires connect the electrodes to a computer, which records the heart's electrical activity. A cuff on your arm allows you to check your blood pressure during the test. When the test begins, you'll be asked to run on a treadmill starting slowly. It is more like simple walking. This is called stage 1. Stage 1 lasts for 3 minutes. As the test continues, the running gets more difficult. Speed and incline increase at set times. Most commonly, it happens after every 3 minutes. You can utilize the railing on the treadmill for balance. Don't hang on tightly, as this may affect the TMT test results. A typical protocol has 7 stages with 3 minutes each. The test is completed in the third or fourth stage for most patients. Rarely. You may need to run till the sixth stage or seventh stage. Sometimes, the test gets completed in the first or second stage only. You must run as long as possible because the test is effort dependent. You and your doctor should discuss your safe limits for exercise. You may intercept the test anytime you're too uncomfortable. Your doctor will monitor your heart activity and halts the test if there are any concerns. You should continue running until your heart rate has reached a target level or until you have symptoms that don't allow you to run. Following symptoms should be reported to the doctor during the test they are Chest pain Shortness of breath Dizziness Fatigue your doctor prematurely stops the test if you develop abnormally high or low blood pressure, an abnormal heart rhythm, or abnormal changes in ECG. After you stop running, you may be asked to stand still for several seconds and then lie down with the monitors in place. Heart rate, blood pressure, and ECG will be watched for 3 to 5 minutes after the test. A cardiologist will review the data after the treadmill test is completed. A report will be given to you immediately.